HubSpot's website traffic analytics report is a great way to see who's coming to your website and where they're coming from. But have you ever wished that you could segment that data, maybe by what country they're visiting from, or if you have multiple websites, which website they're visiting, or maybe which part of your website they're visiting? Well, today we're gonna to show you exactly how to do that. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. If you've been using HubSpot for a while, there's a good chance that you've seen this report, which shows you your website sessions and where the sources of that traffic is coming from. If you haven't seen it, it's a great report, and you can get to it by going to Reports here at the top, Analytics Tools, and then Traffic Analytics. It does require a Marketing Pro subscription or higher. Once you're in here, you can adjust your date ranges and see how many sessions you're having across those date ranges and the source, sources of each of those sessions, as well as scrolling down to dig in deeper. But this is gonna show you all of your sessions for anything that you have the HubSpot tracking code on or that you're using HubSpot to host. So if your website's on HubSpot, your blog, landing pages, or maybe you've got your tracking code across multiple sites or just on a WordPress site, something like that. If you wanna segment this data to see only the data for maybe just a specific website or only the people coming from a specific country, that's where we're gonna use custom analytics views and that's what we're gonna show you today. So in our portal, we do have a custom analytic view already set up. So it was important for us to be able to see how many website sessions we have that are visiting our web pages that are specific to our HubSpot services. So our blogs about HubSpot, our, our web pages about HubSpot services. And so we set up a custom analytics view that just includes all of those HubSpot pages. And so when you go into this analytics view drop down here, you'll see it's all analytics activities by default. We'll have a couple different sources views that HubSpot creates for you. And then we've got these custom views. So if I switch this to HubSpot pages, now it's gonna show me just the sessions that are related to those HubSpot pages, the people that have viewed those HubSpot pages. Now to create those analytics views, what you're gonna do is go to settings and you're gonna be under account setup, tracking analytics, tracking code on the left hand side. And you're gonna to go to analytics views, that far right tab here, and down to custom analytics views. So you can see we've got these two that we've created. This HubSpot pages is the one that I mentioned. We pop in here and edit. Very simple, just URL path contains HubSpot. Whenever we create a new page related to HubSpot, we make sure we include HubSpot in that path. If you wanna create a new one, you'll just hit add another view. And these are the options that you have. So first you'll give it a name and then you'll select one of these options. So country is gonna be based on the IP address that the website's visitor is, is visiting you from. Subdomains, if you've got multiple brand domains set up in HubSpot, most people are gonna be using these uh, URL path starts and path contains, but basically, any segment of any website, as long as you know the URLs, you could set it up with these path contains. Any core websites, so if you've got multiple websites that you're hosting on HubSpot, you would use brand domain, or maybe you've got multiple properties, like maybe you've got a core website and um, you've got a product that's a web app and you also have your analytics code on that. You could use subdomain if your web app was something like app dot, whatever your company name is. So you'll set, you'll pick these options and then based on the option you pick, it will ask for your filter. You'll hit apply filter and you can apply as many as you need. Hit save at the bottom. Now an important thing to know about these custom analytics views is that they're only going to segment the data from the date you create them onwards. So if there's data that you think is gonna be important for you to be able to segment, create it earlier rather than later because it won't backdate the data. It's not gonna go back, if I create a new one today, it's not gonna go back in my historical traffic and segment that out for me. So you're um, prior to the day that you create the analytics view, if you open that analytics view, it'll show zeros up until the date you created it, and then it will segment it from then on. So that's an important note to remember. Make sure you create these early on in your journey. Once you create it, you can go back to that reports, analytics tools, traffic analytics, and it will show up in this analytics view dropdown. So kind of hard to find, but pretty easy once you find it. For more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how-tos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our HubSpot Hacks newsletter in the description below, and we'll see you next time.